and welcome back to my channel. It's been a great day, great night. Today we're going to be transferring seeds from our little cups to their plant containers. Um, my last video we planted, or we didn't plant, we put the little seeds inside the water in the cups. If not, go check the video, I'll have the link down below. Um, but today they started to sprout and we're going to move them over to the cups. So I'm making sure that these have stayed moist. Sometimes the water will evaporate to the top and so I push down and then I put a little bit more water. They've sprouted so now it's time to put them into cups. So I just have these solo cups. Um, they were year, used from years past so they already have holes into them. That one's kind of small. Holes. Um, so we're just going to be taking um, my soil here. It has been pre-moistened um, to make sure that um, it already is moist and so I don't need to be working on a whole lot of extra water into it. Um, but we'll just fill these up to the top. Alright, so I have my cups filled with wa with the soil. Um, I like to keep a little bit from the top so that we can put a little bit more soil once we put down our little seedlings. Alright, so first what I have here was my little Amish tomato. Um, I've done this with toothpicks. This year I'm going to be trying out a spoon. Um, but you just kind of get your seed. You want to be really careful because you don't want to break off the little sprout. And I'm just going to lightly put this into the dirt um, and we will be covering that up. You can kind of even do like a little hole too if you need to. Um, and then put it down into there. But we're going to actually just cover up today. Um, and I like to have um, a few into each cup. Um, sometimes maybe if you're only doing like one at a time as they're sprouting in a weird um, timing. Um, I've put down um, like a toothpick where I need to plant so then I know, hey, this still has room. I'm not planting them all exactly in the same spot. We're going to later um, add these tomatoes. Um, grow and the peppers will be able to separate them but for right now it's easy just to put them down into one cup and um, if they're the same kind and let them all grow because they still sometimes they won't grow and so this will give them um, a little bit your kind of your chance of them growing will be better so I'm just covering them up now now I'm just covering up the seeds as you can see it's kind of leaking here Oop. we'll clean that up Okay, so what I'll do now, I can either put it back on my heat tray um, or I'm going to put it into um, you can put it back in your heat tray if you have something that will catch the, um, the water or I'm going to make another one of these little baskets like this and put them under. They don't need to be under light yet until they have sprouted um, through the, or they've come up through the soil, but um, I'll probably do that just kind of in prep for them. So I'm going to do this with all my seeds and I'll check back in. Okay, as I actually went through the rest of my seeds, I realized that the rest hadn't even sprouted. And that is kind of what happens. So from the tomato I, tomato I planted, my Amish paste tomato, three of them have sprouted out of the four. The other one will probably do that within the next couple days and when that happens, I will plant. Um, peppers are going to take a little bit longer, so they're naturally still a little bit out. And then my other tomato still has not, um, my sweetheart tomato has not, um, sprouted either. So I'll wait for those whenever they are. I have my cups ready and I actually got my tray already. Um, and then I also made these cute little tags for them as well. So that I know <laughs> what each ones are and I don't get kind of, I don't get confused with each of the varieties and whatever I'm planting. So. They'll be all ready whenever they start sprouting. I like to put them in the dirt. If you wait too long, um, they the sprouts will um, die. So yeah, I try to get them into the soil as soon as possible. But yeah, that's kind of my way of transferring the seeds from the little tiny condiment cups to my bigger cups and seed starting. So hopefully you guys like this video. If you guys know anyone that this would be helpful for, please share this video. It would mean a lot. Let me know below your craziest gardening story. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Hope you have a great day, great night. God bless.